So the whole idea for this came from a breakfast meeting. Andy Hug, who runs Bush Camp Company, was in New York City, and we had the opportunity to have breakfast. And as we talked about Africa and Zambia and safaris, you know, like, by the end of breakfast, my head was exploding. There were so many ideas that I had about you know, wanting to go on safari and how we could create an amazing experience. It's, it's a dream. I, I grew up in the bush, fishing, photographic, going. My parents were, were really into the bush. My, my uncle used to work for Norman Carr. He, he was the person that pioneered uh, walking safaris. I originally got a job um, as a guide in 1982. I started the Bush Camp, in, uh, Bush Camp Company in 1998. We started in Fui Lodge and then the six Bush Camps. So the reason why I love it, I love the area, I'm Zambian. I've always wanted to try and make a bit of a difference, and, and we can make a bit of a difference here. So much of what we do at Pool Hunting is about sharing these amazing experiences we have with our audience. It might be as small as a tweet, it might be as large as a video, but we thought about this trip as an opportunity to see what happens if we invite people along and, and give people a chance to experience a place and a moment in the way that we get to. For me, the, the, the way the group gelled together was amazing. It was instant, it was, it was fun, and it's been amazing for my staff to, to see that. Getting to know Andy and his team before the trip, we had a lot of confidence that the Bush Camp Company was going to provide a great experience. At the same time, we hadn't been there before, so we're a little nervous about what it was going to be like and you know we were on the line we had all of our guests that were coming along on this cool hunting planned trip fortunately the bush camp company met all of our expectations and really exceeded them they were outstanding and i think what made it so great is they had just the right balance of luxury and casual one of our sayings at Cool Hunting is always more. We partnered with Tumi to make perfect safari duffel bag. Inside of that bag, we had boots that were made by the Vintage Shoe Company. We had cameras and binoculars that were provided by Pentax. We had custom-made safari jackets by Jaron Ford. And we had an endless fountain of champagne from Dove Clico. We partnered with Pentax, who sent Carrick James and a whole bunch of cameras. What was most valuable was having him alongside all of our guests, showing them how to take better pictures, helping them in the moment. You know, the lion is crossing, here's what you do. Anticipating the safari, uh, I was expecting it to be like whale watching. I thought we'd go out for several hours and maybe see one or two animals. We were blown away by the number of animals. It was just, it was nonstop. I think within the first day we had seen elephants, zebras, hippos, lions, leopards, a million different kinds of birds, baboons, an amazing experience to be in this park, which is half the size of Connecticut, where the animals are just living their lives and doing their thing. I think my, my favorite part was just that you never knew what was around each corner. And we were constantly being surprised by the animals and what they were doing and by the Bush Camp Company. Bush Camp Company is really involved with the local school there, and that's something that we really took to heart. We wanted to be able to go to the school, we wanted to see and meet the kids and talk to the teachers, and to, you know, in whatever small way possible, be a part of that. We have a charity called Charity Begins at Home, which is our vehicle to raise money and put into, into the various different projects that we have, from educating children, to building classrooms, to building dormitories. Josh and Evan from Cool Hunting have donated iPads and a computer to, to the school for them to, to help with educating the kids in, in various subjects. Pentax has donated cameras to the school. The Cool Hunting group very gener generously donated desks in the one complete uh, classroom block which consists of three classrooms 
and also beds, bunk beds and cupboards in the dormitories, the two new dormitories that have been built. Adds a different dimension to, to somebody's trip, you know, to, to the understanding of what the area is about, to the challenges that, that the world faces, but, but Africa faces some huge challenges. I think the, the important thing for me is the effort and the attitude that goes into it and people wanting to make a difference.